For today's video, we are going to have the first part of our discussion on how to find the standard form of equation of a circle using the given conditions. So when we say circle, it is a locus of all points in the plane having the same positive distance called radius from a fixed point called center. And the standard form of equation of a circle that is quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to write the standard form of equation of a circle. So let's start and let's have an example. On the given set of example, we are going to find the standard form of equation of a circle using the given conditions. On number 1, we have center at 2, 5 and radius is 3. Since the center of a circle that is h and k and the value of h is 2, and the value of k that is 5, and the standard form of equation of a circle that is quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So this will be x minus h, that is 2, and then we have square plus quantity y minus 5 square equals 3 square. And to simplify, this will be quantity x minus 2 square plus quantity y minus 5 square equals 9. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have center at origin and radius is square root of 10. So when we say center at origin, so center will be 0, comma, 0. So this will be x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So let us have x minus 0 square plus quantity y minus 0 square equals square root of 10 raised to 2. Since the value of h and k is 0, this will be x square plus y square and let us cancel the radical sign and the exponent and that is 10. And this will be the standard form of equation of a circle. On example number 3, we have center at negative 3, 5, and diameter is 10. The first thing that we're going to do to find the standard form of equation of a circle is to identify the value of the radius. Since radius is half of the diameter, let us divide the diameter into 2. So this will be 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So this will be the value of our radius. And the value of our h is negative 3, and k is 5. So we are going to have x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So let us have x minus h, that is negative 3, and then square plus quantity y minus 5 square equals r square, and that is 5 square. And to simplify, this will be quantity x plus 3 square plus quantity y minus 5 square equals 25. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have center at 1, 4 passing through negative 2, 5. In order for us to find the standard form of equation of a circle, let us identify first the radius. And there are two different ways on how we can find the radius. The first one, let us have the standard form that is quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So this will be the value of h and this is k and this is the value of x and y. So let us have x that's negative 2 minus h that's 1 and then square plus 5 minus 4 square equals r square and then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 and negative 3 square that is 9 and then we have 5 minus 4 is 1 and 1 square is 1 and we have r square 9 plus 1 that is 10 equals r square so let us square both sides of the equation so this will be r equals square root of 10. And then, the next solution to find the radius is by means of distance formula. 
we are going to find the distance of the center and to the point negative 2 comma 5 so this will be radius is equal to the distance equals square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square so this will be x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 and y sub 2 so let us substitute this will be x sub 2 and that is negative 2 minus 1 square plus 5 minus 4 square so this will be negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 and negative 3 square is 9 plus 5 minus one, 4 that is 1 and 1 square that is 1 so this will be square root of 10 so as you can see we come up with the same radius and to find the standard form let us simply substitute the radius in the center so let us have quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square so this will be x minus h that is 1 and then we have square plus quantity y minus 4 square equals r square so square root of 10 raised to 2 we can cancel the radical sign and the exponent 2 it will give us 10 so this will be the standard form of equation of a circle on number 5 we have a diameter has endpoint at 7 comma negative 3 and 1 comma 7 since we have a diameter and one of the characteristic of diameter it intersect the center so to find the center we are going to use the midpoint formula and that is the midpoint of x equals x sub 2 plus x sub 1 all over 2 and the midpoint of y is equal to y sub 2 plus y sub 1 all over 2 so this will be x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 and y sub 2 so let us have the midpoint of x this will be 1 plus 7 all over 2 and that is 1 plus 7 is 8 divided by 2 and that is 4 and then we have y sub 2 that is 7 minus 3 over 2 and that is 4 divided by 2 and that is 2 so therefore the center of the circle that is 4 comma 2 and then let us identify the radius using the center and one of the given points of the diameter so let us have quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square so let us have x i'm going to use 7 comma negative 3 and that is 7 minus h that is 4 then square plus negative 3 minus 2 and that is k and then we have r square 7 minus 4 that is 3 3 square that is 9 and then we have negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 negative 5 square is 25 equals r square 25 plus 9 that is 34 equals r square so let us square both sides of the equation so the value of the radius is square root of 34 now to find the standard form this will be quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square we are going to have x minus h that is 4 and then square plus y minus 2 square r square that is square root of 34 raised to 2 we can cancel the radical sign and exponent 2 it will give us 34 and this will be our answer on our last set of example we have center at negative 4 comma 6 on number 6 it is tangent to x axis and on number 7 it is tangent to y axis so how can we find the standard form of equation using the given condition so number 6 we have center at negative 4 comma 6 and tangent to x axis since the center is 6 units away from the x axis so therefore the radius is 6 if you want to sketch this one let us have a cartesian coordinate plane this will be 1 2 3 4 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be the x-axis and this is y-axis. Since it is tangent to x-axis, let us start counting here from the center, negative 4, comma 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is 6 units away from the x-axis. So to find the standard form, this will be quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So this will be quantity x. Since the value of h is negative, this will be plus 4 and then square plus y minus 6 square equals 6 square, that is 36. And this will be our answer. On number 7, we have center at negative 4, 6 and tangent to y axis. Since the center is 4 units away from the y axis, the radius is 4. If you want to, to sketch this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will be the y axis and this is the x axis. And it's 4 units away, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let us have quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So this will be quantity x plus 4 square plus quantity y minus 6 square equals 4 square, that is 16. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.